What's going on everyone, Envy Astro here, back at it with another video. So today's video guys, I'm gonna be getting a first impressions on the 51 49 props by Gen Fan. These were sent to me. I know I'm a little late, but hey, better late than ever, right? But before I get started with my first impressions, let's go ahead and head home and give you guys a little bit more information on the new Gen Fan prop. So let's do that thing. Okay, before I show you guys my first impressions on the Flash 51 49 by Gen Fan, I'm going to be going very briefly over the specs of the prop and then comparing them to their previous props like the 5152 and the 5152S's and see what major changes they have made from the first 5152. So before we get started, let's go ahead and get you guys some weight. So I will go ahead and zoom in the camera so you guys can see. And let's see, let's put that camera into zoom. So uh, on the website, they claim that the prop weighs 4.65 grams and in reality, it actually weighs... 4.6 grams, so it's actually fairly accurate to what they have claimed online. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the props. Uh, this prop actually is the lightest of the three flash props. So here, I'll, I'll go ahead and weigh the other props for you. So this right here is the whiskey color of the prop and is the very, very first 5152 flash that they had um, come out with. And that is went in at 4.9, so 0.3 grams heavier. And then they came out with the 5152S because they were having an issue with the um, the very first 5152 due to the durability it just would always been here right at the hub so they actually ended up putting a little bit more uh material here right at the hub so we'll go ahead and see how much this weighs and that weighs 5.2 grams so it is a lot heavier than the all new 5149 by gem fan so as far as like my first impressions and what i think is going to happen with this prop is well one since it is lighter i believe it will have better torque at, at the end just because it's a lighter prop it will reach the rpms of the motor a lot quicker than what the 5152 and the 5152s can and then as far as durability i don't know just so here let's go ahead and actually compare the design so this is comparing the design to the very very first uh gem fan prop as you can see if we put them on top of each other uh, this prop here is just a lot thicker. It has a bigger surface area here. This is a lot thinner here, but it's also a lot thicker near the hub as far as where the material was and where it lacked. But it just seems like it's still a weak point there. I mean, if I, if I crash during my first impressions, I, I will obviously see if that's a weak point or not. But as I keep flying this prop, I will I'll honestly see whether the durability is better or not when comparing them to the 5152 or the 5152S because the 5152 had a major issue right here, right on the hub. And it, it would literally always bend like that. Your blade would always end up bending like that and literally it would like get in the way and it was like, like five times out of 10, 50% chance of you getting up after a crash. And then this thing made it better with them adding a little bit more plastic here towards the middle, but it was, still wasn't the best durability. So let's see what the 5149S and see what it's, uh, what it's got to offer as far as dur durability. Oh, another thing they did add to this prop is that it does, it is capable of handling those Popo motors. So if you guys are rocking the Popo motors, you will be able to rock this prop with that. They also do come in various colors. They have red, green, orange, blue, and purple, which I have all colors all right in front of me. But I just think this is actually gonna be a really nice prop. If you guys know, I've been a huge fan of Gen Fan props. I still currently run the 5055. I've actually ran out of stock out of my 5055 Hokies, but that is my favorite prop. Whenever this prop first came out, it was super, super nice. The top end and low end that it gave me was super nice. I didn't think they were actually gonna be able to make a better prop than this, but then they came out with that Hokey prop, and that Hokey prop just had everything this had, plus a little bit better low end and a little bit better durability. But without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead and go outside and give you guys my first impressions on the 5149 props by Gem Fan. All right, so now that you know a little bit more about the new Gem Fan prop, the 5149, so the design, like I said, uh. I said it just previously, it is very similar to the 5152 by them, the flash prop. So I'm expecting very, very similar characteristics. And the reason I have two quads right in front of me, they are both protons. These are the FPV protons. One of them has a 3D GIMP canopy. The other one has a top plate for the GoPro, like I usually run it. But the difference here is they have different motors, different ESC because this is 6S capable. So I'm gonna be getting my first impressions on both 4S and 6S. The reason I am doing that is because not everybody has completely, how should I say this, transformed over to 6S and people are still rocking 4S. I still see that people are racing on 4S. I know Justin Skinner's still doing it. Captain Vanover's still doing it. And 
for those people that haven't switched or are convinced on 6s i'm gonna be giving you guys both impressions on 4s and 6s so first up we're gonna be doing the 6s and by the way i have links for all these products down in the description down below if you guys are interested in running my setup or whatever it may be there will be some links down in the description below but let's go ahead and get started with the 4s battery first up, like i said already it is the 4s battery so let's go ahead so yeah i am expecting these to feel very similar to my uh the 5152s and i am going to be comparing them to my hokies too since that is what i like really fly that's actually one of my favorite props as far as 6s i haven't flown that prop on 6s i've been flying the hqs 5050s those are really really nice so so far it feels super smooth i can tell you that some really nice resolution in the throttle let's see the top of it real quick so yeah, they still have that top in like the 5152s have. I didn't expect these to actually lose that top in, so not bad at all. Uh, I can tell that they don't have that nice little torquey feeling that um, the uh, Hokies do. These feel very, very similar to my 5152s. As far as how more efficient they are, I don't know. Because I know the main issue with the uh, 5152s was the durability. I know a lot of people like those props, the way they felt, but the durability was just really bad. It wasn't the best. Even after they came out with the uh, the S, it was really good. Uh, well, I shouldn't say really good. It was a lot better, but it just still wasn't good enough for uh, most people. It was okay for me because Jam Fan would always, you know, hook it up with some props. So big shout out to Jam Fan for actually hooking that up with these props. So really nice. But I, I like the smoothness of this prop is really nice. I'm liking that. With a nice top in staying on throttle around there really nice battery is low let's see how much flight time i got that was a 1500 charge to hv so i got a minute and 45 that was not too efficient i don't know and i, I was kind of going a little bit crazy but that wasn't too efficient and these are 2600 kv f40 pro v2 real quick once again um they didn't feel too torquey right away this is my very very first flight with these props too they didn't feel as torquey as my Hokies, but they feel very, very similar to the 5152s. Just maybe a little bit lighter. Like I said, the the, the, um, the actual blade seems to be a little bit thinner, and the durability seems to uh, probably gone up on these batteries. Uh, I'm sorry, not the batteries. I'm always used to testing batteries, that's why I'm saying that, on these props. But next up on 6S, so, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't know how much i'm a last but on forest flying the way i Switch did morning. we lasted about let's go ahead and stop this dvr i lasted about a minute and 45 it was a minute and 43 seconds to be exact so we'll see if um six is, is more efficient and my battery is not full so let me go ahead and swap this battery out and then put a fresh six s battery all right so there we go now we got a fresh pack on there all right so i'm actually very curious to see if props fly very similar on a 6s setup versus a 4s setup this is the exact same frame uh same uh, flight controller same uh very similar pids the main difference is of course 6s motor 1750 kv f60 v2s and then 2600 kv motors here props are obviously the same because i'm gonna be doing the same and of course we're running a 6s battery so i'm very curious to see if it feels very similar so I could already tell it does feel a little bit torquey. It even sounds a little torquey. Ooh, I lost video there for like half a second. So I could definitely, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it off the camera, maybe too far away, but I could definitely hear it being a lot more torquey. Yeah, definitely. The it has the same resolution it does on Forest. Very nice. I like that quickness it has. Oh no. <laughs> Was good oh man oh nice it just turns on that dime oh they feel a lot better on sixes for sure they feel a lot more torque here you could just hear the sound of the quad too it sounds a little bit more powerful like i said i don't know if you guys will be able to hear that on the video but they handle really nice they turn when i want it to turn it just goes where i want it to go very nice Comparing this to the forest, the forest kind of feels a little bit sloppy. But right, like right there, that was a great example of, of, about the torque that I'm talking about. 
Oh, it's dead though. It is dead. All right, let's see how far we got. Let's see how many ants we also pulled on this. Landed nice and careful. Oops. A minute and 25, 22 amps max current. I wonder if my amps amp meter is is like calibrated. I don't know. Definitely, definitely a lot more torquier. Uh, I had the very same resolution as far as like how smooth it felt. It felt really, really nice, but I for sure felt a better. Uh, they, these props felt for sure. Right, sorry about that. Like I was saying, so these props felt a lot better on a 6S setup. So the motors, in case you guys are curious, these are the F60 Pro V2s running, of course, the 5149s by Genfan. And like I said, the torque, just you could just hear that sound. Like it just sounded a lot more aggressive than it did on the forest. And I was finding it just the same too. And with the 6S setup, it just felt a lot more sharp. It went where I wanted it to go. That topping was a little bit better than the forest setup. But although the efficiency wasn't the same, you gotta be comparing the um, battery capacities too. So I was using the China Hobby Line 6S 1000 and then for the forest setup, I was using the AC 1575C battery. So you gotta look at the capacities. Although this is 6S and it is supposed to be a little bit more efficient, I was using a higher capacity on a forest battery. So keep that in mind whenever you're comparing the forest and 6s efficiency that i just got and of course i'm running a little bit slight slightly or uh, different motors these are 2207 size motors and the f40s are the 2306 so but yeah so if you're looking for a little bit more aggressive i'd probably put this prop on a 6s setup it has a little bit more aggressiveness the low end the top end everything just kind of boosted up a little bit comparing it to the 4s setup the 4s setup i'm not saying was bad but it wasn't as good as the 6s and the six has just seemed like it's a little bit more of what my type of flying like because I like that nice little torquiness with that top in there. So I'll give these props a thumbs up. And with uh, that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I haven't been posting that much, but hey, I'm trying. I am trying. But um, yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.